A 74-year-old Dallas man was in custody Wednesday following his arrest by police in connection to the death of a five-year-old boy. He is the second suspect in the case. Just hours after Zamorian Kizzy was found dead, his mother was arrested. Dallas police announced on Wednesday that 74-year-old Ulysses Kizzy was arrested Tuesday and faces a charge of injury to a child by omission, a second-degree felony. He's accused of failing to alert authorities about the abuse. Kizzy was booked into the Dallas County Jail at 12.54 a.m. Wednesday, according to jail records. He remained in jail without a bond. Dallas police did not say how Ulysses Kizzy was related to the boy. Tiffany Williams, Zamorian's mother, was taken into custody on Monday, and she faces a charge of injury to a child-slash-serious bodily injury. Williams remained in the Dallas County Jail on Wednesday with bond set at $1 million. Williams is accused of beating her son multiple times. Dallas police responded to a report of an injured child just before 11.30 a.m. Monday in the 2800 block of Silkwood Street in South Dallas. Dallas Fire Rescue also responded and found the five-year-old boy dead at the home. Police said preliminary investigation revealed the child had signs of trauma, according to WFAA-TV. An arrest affidavit obtained by WFAA said the mother told police she struck the child multiple times Sunday, including with a closed fist to the temple of his head and to his back, and with an extension cord on his back and face. According to the affidavit, police interviewed a family member of Williams, who said she called him at 10.33 a.m. Monday saying she needed her grandmother's phone number and that her child was dead. The family member told police he arrived at the home at 11.20 a.m., found Williams with all of her kids and saw the child dead inside the house. Police sources told WFAA that there were at least four other children inside the home at the time. Officials with the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services told WFAA that the agency has a history with the family but say it's confidential due to state law. Authorities said they have removed the boy's five surviving siblings, ages 7, 6, 3, 1, and 3 months old, from Williams' home. The children are in foster care.